So before I get into this video, I just wanted to thank Henry for suggesting I upgrade this MacBook. He was super helpful and also walked me through the whole installation. If you want to check out his channel and join his Discord, the links will be in the description below. Yo guys, Carter from MacTech here, and I upgraded my $50 MacBook to Mojave. Now, this MacBook isn't officially supported by Mojave, but thanks to DOS Dude 1, it can be installed. So let's see how well it runs and see if this is an affordable $50 ticket into modern macOS. So if you haven't already watched my review of the $50 MacBook, I would definitely check it out if you want to learn more about the actual computer, but in this video, we're just seeing how well it can handle Mojave. For those of you that haven't watched the $50 MacBook review, here's a quick recap. My model has a 2GHz Intel Core 2 Duo, 2GB of DDR2 SD RAM, and a 120GB hard drive. Now these specs are nowhere even close to today's standards, so let's see if they are at least half usable on the most recent macOS. So obviously when this thing boots up, it's a little slow. From off to fully on, it takes about 90 seconds thanks to the ancient hard drive. I'm sure this boot time would be cut in half if I had an SSD, but for now I have to stick with what I have. Now this MacBook is noticeably slower when opening programs than my 2 year older 2007 iMac that's running El Capitan, but then again I've upgraded this poor thing to an OS 3 times above the one it should be on. For that I'll cut it some slack, especially because right now I exclusively use this MacBook for Reddit, Spotify, and Discord, which it all handles perfectly fine. So in the review I showed how this MacBook can handle 720p but not 1080p YouTube videos. Well, now, thanks to the jump to Mojave, it can handle 1080p, even 1080p 60fps videos with no problems at all. That is a huge plus of this upgrade. Although, with every plus, there is a downside. Mojave doesn't officially support this MacBook's trackpad, and just recognizes it as a regular mouse. This sadly removed the ability to two-finger right-click, so now I have to do control-click. Not the biggest problem, but it is definitely slower than a simple trackpad gesture. So would I suggest upgrading this old, white MacBook A1181 to Mojave? If you have the specs I have, then no. It's pretty slow, especially if you're planning on using this for your main computer. The only way I would suggest upgrading this MacBook to Mojave is if you have more RAM, a faster processor, or even an SSD. In that case, then yes, this probably would be a pretty good alternative to a $1000 MacBook or MacBook Pro. Practically the only difference would be the lack of a backlit keyboard, and it would just be a tad bit slower. That about does it for this video. If you enjoyed, be sure to check out the iCard in the top right corner, leave a like, and don't forget to subscribe.